In a world where there are victorious people, there is also a world of people who are victims. Those who are victorious choose to be that way, yet those who are victims allow themselves to be. Hi, my name is Nick Shell. I'm the internet receding hairline guy, and I am your guru. This is part of my series. We're comparing people who choose to become victorious versus those who allow themselves to become victims, and it's all under the umbrella of talking about hair loss, receding hairlines. Now, I'm age 35. I know I sort of won the lottery a little bit. As far as comparatively speaking, I thought I'd be completely bald by now. So I never thought at age 35 I'd even have hair to talk about and be able to, to even say I've got a receding hairline. I thought just by now I'd just be bald and that'd be the end of it. But still, it's still the hair is still going. It's still a process. So uh, I am on this journey. Uh, it is true. So what we want to look at today uh, the, the next uh, way to compare is we're looking at this. People who are victorious, they accept responsibility for their failures. Meanwhile, people who are victims, they blame others for their failures. So how are we going to relate this back to hair loss? Here's how. Here's how I look at it. I remember at some point, probably a couple years ago, and maybe I, and sure, I was just joking around, but, you know, I was kind of blaming my my jeans, my, my, uh, yeah, my jeans, right? Cause yeah, man, I, I lost the lottery as far as, I guess I don't get to keep my hair. I'm one of those guys. So I just, this is a quick reminder that if that's how you look at it, you already lose. You're a loser by default. You lose because you think, oh man, I'm, I'm never going to be as good as those people is those other guys that have a full head of hair and don't even have to something to do something about it. They don't have to shave their head. They don't have to get hair transplants. They don't have to use essential oils on their head. They don't have to do any of that because they won the lottery as far as, as far as that goes. And here I am, I lose. I'm just, I'm just born bald and that's just how it is. What I, this is just a quick reminder to never think that way, okay? Because if you do, you're gonna compare yourself constantly to guys with more hair than you. And here's a little secret. At the beginning of this video, I said, I thought I won the lottery for having this much hair. Well, I'm, I don't know, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure there's numbers guys out there, Donatello the Ninja Turtle type people who would be able to correct me if I'm wrong. I would think that as the average 35 year old Caucasian male, and granted I'm a quarter Mexican, so I'm not completely 100% Caucasian. Uh, I'm a little bit ethnic, I guess. But for the average American male who is I guess predominantly white, I guess is what I am. I don't know. You would uh, compare me against everyone. I'd, would I, wouldn't I be like right in the middle? Maybe. I don't know. Are there more people without hair or me, more people with hair that are my age? I don't know. You guys can help me figure that out. Because again, I'm not the facts and figures guy. I'm the guy that helps people with, with more of the psycho psychological uh, approach and all this. So I just want to remind you, don't allow yourself to think in terms of well, that guy, he's better off than me. He's got more hair than me. He lucked out. I'm never going to be as good as him. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're going to be as good as him. You can actually, in theory, be better than him and depending on what we're talking about uh, in, in certain ways, in certain skills, and most importantly, in how you think. Because imagine this, and I've shared this video, this, this story recently more than once. I've had men who are taller than me. I'm 5'9", taller than me, and with full heads of hair that are older than me, and they, they've pointed out that I've got less hair than them. Why would they do that? That makes me think that they're not secure in themselves. I'm secure in myself with less hair, less height. Yet I'm more secure. Why? Because I don't go around criticizing people or pointing out their physical flaws. Instead of I'm complimenting people, which is another one of the traits that I've already talked about in this series. This is Nick Shell. I am the internet receding hairline guy. I am your guru. I am victorious because I choose to be. I don't allow myself to become a victim.